Hi guys, it's Allie with Miss Allie's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make my dairy-free chicken corn chowder, which I actually make in my slow cooker. Here's my slow cooker pot. This is an awesome recipe, really for any time of year, but I love it for like early fall, mid fall, harvest time. It's really comforting in the winter. It's super simple to do. I'm just gonna walk you through how I do it very quickly. Um, it's one of those recipes that you can cook low and slow in the slow cooker all day, or you can cook it for like four hours on high if you're kind of in a pinch. So you can prep it in the morning, you can prep it at lunchtime and have it for dinner. You can prep it for parties. It's awesome. It freezes really well. So it's definitely one of the better recipes for make ahead, meal prep, stock the freezer that I have on my website. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through what I have. I've done kind of all my prep work here. Um, I've got right here some just cut up chicken. Um, in this bowl, in some water, I actually have some gold potatoes just chopped into bite-sized pieces. Um, this is what I like with chowders. I like a little bit of a smaller dice on my vegetables. You'll see here I have my carrots, um, a pretty small, small dice. So kind of smaller than bite-sized, same here with my onions. And then here I have some corn. So today I'm using frozen corn. You could use fresh corn or frozen. I'm not a big fan of canned corn, but you can certainly use that too. The corn is actually gonna go in like later, about an hour before you serve everything. You add some, uh, what I have here is some coconut milk. It's full fat coconut milk with some tapioca starch. You can use arrowroot powder or cornstarch, but you kind of make a slurry with these two things. And then you add the corn at the end. That way the corn doesn't get super soggy. Um, whenever I'm making soups, stews, whatever that have corn or peas, I always add them in at the end so they don't get gross. Um, and then in here I have some just homemade chicken stock. Um, I had to thaw it out because I keep mine in the freezer, but you can use store-bought as well. So I'm just gonna start assembling. Um, whenever I do slow cooker meals, I always put the protein, especially if I'm using raw protein, on the bottom first. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my chicken breast just to the bottom of the slow cooker. And I cook everything in layers. So the next thing I have um, are potatoes. Now these potatoes I've diced and they're soaking in water. So I just have a colander behind me. I just strain them. So you can do this anytime you cook potatoes. It's just going to go right over top of the chicken. Which potatoes take longer to cook than the rest of the vegetables, so I put them on top of the proteins. The next slowest cooking thing are the carrots. So I'm just gonna pour those right over the potatoes. You can see there. Next thing that goes in is the onion. Just adds a lot of really yummy flavor. And then I'm gonna put in, I have some garlic in here. The recipe calls for garlic powder. You can use garlic powder or chopped fresh garlic. I had a ton of fresh garlic, so I wanted to use that up. Salt, pepper, and paprika. So that's it in there. It's been sitting for a minute, so I just gotta get that, all that goodness in our slow cooker. Okay, so everything's been added. All you're going to do next is just pour in the chicken stock. You can use chicken broth. I just love the flavor of chicken stock. Um, but yeah, so that's what this looks like. You can see there's some broth there, lots of vegetables, the chicken's on the bottom and the potatoes. So I'm gonna put this actually on high for three hours because I wanna eat it tonight and it's about noon. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make my slurry really quickly, even though I'm not gonna add this for a while, just so you guys can see. Um, and then this would all get mixed together. And then about an hour before I'm gonna serve, I would pour in just the slurry mixture and the corn, like I said. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on my slow cooker, which is on high. And so for serving with this, what I love to do is cut up some bacon. Even if you have frozen bacon, I like to cut it up into little lardons or strips. And you can top the soup with bacon and green onions. It's super simple. I know you guys are gonna love the recipe. Tag me if you make it on at miss.allyskitchen on Instagram, or if you want the recipe, go to my website, www.missalliskitchen.com, and the recipe is for dairy-free chicken corn chowder. So I'll see you guys next time, and I know you're gonna love it.